Hi, my name's Keith and I'm known as the Florida Stone Man and I'm officially doing a video talking to you about what's going to be happening in November and December. And I'm going to be as vague as humanly possible. You can come back and watch this in November and December when it's happening, but you can hold me accountable for these predictions later because I know what I'm saying is correct. I've seen prophecies in relation to what's happening in November and December and you want to get ready. What's the best way to get ready? Florida Stone Man custom necklace of tourmaline or a black tourmaline necklace on the website. It's literally a head guard for your spiritual mind. This is a disclaimer. All this information that I'm teaching about this video is based off of spiritual information. It's just spiritual. It has nothing to do with the world or the physical world. Uh, it's just a spiritual world, okay? It's just a spiritual world. I'm just talking about the spiritual world and the spiritual world predictions of uh, November. <laughs> but here I go. So November and December are, you guys are going to step into a new era. And I don't do prediction videos often. I've actually made one at the start of this year and no one remembers that I made it. Uh, you can watch my predictions for this year and yes, I've done my hair differently today. I don't know what I did with it. I just did it because it felt comfortable and it felt good. So I do things that make me feel good. Uh, Self-love routines, but this feels good. I don't know what this is. I don't know what's going on. I, I thought about putting a crystal on the end. Like, I thought about it. <laughs> if I can give myself some new ideas, but. So basically, let's talk about November and December here, because this is important. D yeah. Have you guys wondered why I've been teaching so much about energy vampire videos? Well, this, and I let you guys respond at home. Yes. So. November, December is some of the mass most massive energy vampire releases in this world ever. Ever. So you're going to see people become some of the biggest energy vampires in the world. And this will affect people who are not aware of their financial energies, their abundance, their mental peace, their sleep, their happiness. People will be feeling like they got hit, hit by like a, a truck spiritually. They'll just feel like... I I can't even open my eyes in the morning. And people are gonna wake up like, what happened? What's going on? Is this the planet? And people are like, I, I can't sleep enough. And then people are gonna be like, I'm so, you know, everyone's gonna be like, I'm so tired, what's going on? I'm not gonna say why, why in particular, a certain event is happening in November. A certain event, a certain event. Okay, I can't say anything else. That's it, a certain event, no more. I, that's That's it. A certain event. Telepathically communicating what a certain event is, but it's going to cost the world th their energy. And up to December, people, I mean, people will get their energy back for years after this. Years. Uh, some people will be permanently affected by this. Some people temporarily. Some people will actually find the energy from other people by taking it for themselves after becoming energy vampires, but. I'd like you guys to do some research on actual vampires. So, like New Orleans vampires. So there's always a count, there's always a head vampire. When one vampire bites another vampire, I mean, bites a human and lets the human live, that human eventually turns into a vampire after a while. Like, just like how a zombie bites someone, that that person will turn into a zombie too. Same same thing applies, actually, same thing applies. So if you're a human and you get by, a, you ever watch The Walking Dead? You bit by a zombie, you come back as a zombie because it infected you. That energy infected you. So the same thing applies to people is that when an energy vampire bites you and takes a chunk out of you, that infects your whole chakra system. You're going to get zombified. You're going to wake up like, what in the world? You think it, you think that an a tourmaline necklace stops this. So you literally wear a tourmaline necklace from FloridaStoneMan.com and people, you yeah, I got my tourmaline from... And it's not working. I look at it, it's not even real. It's like onyx or obsidian. I can't guarantee other people's obsidian or gemstones like that. That's why I say Florida Stone Man Tourmaline because you guys are playing with your spirituality going cheap on gemstones that are either unethically harvested or fake. So yeah, Florida Stone Man, you get the world's highest quality and you get what you pay for. Gonna go cheap on your spirituality. Your, your abundance will go cheap on you. So back to the topic of energy vampirism and black tourmaline is literally the energy vampire slaying gemstone i'm gonna give you another tip and this this is very minor as a tip you can also consume more garlic 
as crazy as it sounds. I, I like the black fermented garlic from Amazon. Uh, just because it tastes better. It almost tastes like chocolate. Some people don't like it, but it almost tastes like chocolate. So I like it. <laughs> but most people are going to get the... And what happens when you do that? It keeps the, the internal... Uh, it, it's, like, it's like a cleanser. Mini cleanser. It's small. I'm not going to say it's a big cleanser. And you can take the, the peels of the garlic and you put them in your front yard. Sprinkle them throughout your front yard. It keeps away really bad omens. Yay. So... I, I mean... Upon November, you're gonna see. Okay, so what's the best way to describe this? What happens if you open a, si a soda can? Because I'm trying to not get a really bad example. When you open a soda can and you sip it, it's bubbling. So, in by I mean by the end of October, after Halloween and this veil comes down, uh, people are going to be bubbling from the veil. So people are going to be bubbling. Like, what happens if you shake a can up? You shake the can up and you open it. <laughs> then some people are gonna be the shaken can and some people, and all those bubbles just get out all at once. And those bubbles, like the, it, the air dries up fast and, and, this, and the can goes stale very fast. So some people expire sooner than others, but it's like a race to see the world dry up of their energy. And like I said, I I am not allowed to say anything. It's, it's just in the spiritual realm. If you guys, if you guys knew what I'm saying, if you know what I'm saying, <laughs> read between the lines spiritually. Do you have to? Do I have to take my hand down for you to be, to be able to see my eye? No. So read between read between lines. Don't even comment it. Don't even comment. It. I mean, you, I don't. I'm, I'm telling you guys not to comment it. If you know, just say you know. Okay, so December, I'm going to tell you right now, a lot of people, if you're aware of this and you're wearing tourmaline as a necklace, specifically from Florida Stone Man, because I don't guarantee other people's tourmaline, people mess around with a piece of tourmaline for about a year and they're like, yeah, it doesn't work, all their energy's gone, all their opportunities are gone, they're getting hexed to witchcraft, black magic, etc., and they didn't use it correctly or it wasn't even real. So I suggest my tourmaline from floridastoneman.com. Is it a how does a bracelet work? A necklace is a hundred times stronger than a bracelet. A, a dark entity is going for your throat and the back of the neck. Where do ooh, where do vampires bite? They bite the neck. They put two holes in the neck. I'm gonna use that example in the future. That's actually awesome. Where does a zombie normally bite? Usually the neck. Do they want to bite the arms? And oh, look, look at the arms. No. When an executioner executes someone, do they do it by the neck or the arm? Do they cut the person's arm off or the neck? So yes. Yeah, so. By December, you're going to see people lonely. You're going to see people lonely, and a lot of people will end up spiritually broke. Like, broke. So you can't, you know this now. I've seen the prophecies. I have gemstones that show me the future as in detail as pro. It's already happened. It's, it's happened. It's happened more than once in several different dimensions. That's my angels confirm it in the background. If you guys can hear them, uh, that's cool. Some of you actually can. So for the people who've gotten custom necklaces for me, you can actually hear angels. So don't mean to call them out or put them in the spotlight like that. But uh, <laughs> uh, when it comes to, and some of them don't mind, some of them are like, eh, I don't want to be in the camera. <laughs> One of them's like messing with my ear now because I was like, put the camera on him. But uh, when it comes to, and if you ever see me do this, I'm tuning into what my angels say so when it comes to november it's gonna start off high energy very high energy that, no that november 1st let's talk about the first week of november that november 1st is gonna be like woo, yeah this is my month this is woo, it's yeah and then november 2nd november 3rd november, november, november 3rd you're gonna be like what day is it november 4th and 5th you're gonna be like Ooh, that went by fast. November 6th, 7th, and 8th, it's like... It's like, hmm, what's going on? It's like, you're, you're gonna feel all these flustered energies, and you're gonna be kind of mad. You don't know what you're mad about, you're just kind of, like, a little bit angry. November 9th, 10th, 11th, 12th, 13th, 14th, 15th. You're gonna still feel kind of angry, but you're gonna be, like, tired, like, gonna be, like, irritable, almost. And I'm not, this is not for everyone. This is not a prediction on every single person. This is just based on certain energies and alignments that I see as a chart. So... If you throw a ball and it, it hits the ground and it bounces this high and comes back down, 
and you do it about five times and it does the same thing five times, I'm repeating the pattern. I'm repeating how the pattern goes. I'm, I'm teaching you the pattern. So basically towards the end of November, you guys are just gonna be like tired if you're not wearing tourmaline and if you're not calling back your energy. So I taught some very sophisticated callback energy techniques. So I suggest you check out those videos. One thing I suggest you guys do is to turn off your TVs and turn off radios and TVs. That's, I mean, that's one of the main mechanisms of how the energy, if you, you wanna know how fast energy goes through a radio or a TV, instantly, instantly instantly so turn off your radios turn off your tvs i'd listen to some frequencies at like 777 hertz november so you better listen to some high frequencies i would i would personally not listen to much music especially new music especially new music so i'm telling you guys how to dodge some of this stuff because some of you will watch this in november and you're like this is happening to me it's too late i'm like well i warned you all i have to say is i warned you in December and January, uh, I'm, I, won't, I won't talk about January, actually, I won't. Because we're, we're, the goal in this video is to get you guys ready for November and December. So, it's basically the harvest. If, maybe a lot of you guys have seen scythes, like a scythe, or like a... Because in November, things are going to be harvested. Energies will be harvested. Your friends, your family... If they're vulnerable, they're gonna turn very irritable and moody and turn into different people. Like how I said, uh, one of the TV shows I like is called The Strain. It's about an, a vampire outbreak in New York. And these things are exactly how actual vampires are. They can't cross running water. They ever see really negative people. Where is that music coming from? That's about next to the car, okay. Yes, I'm on the water, by the way. Uh, like, where is that coming from? Have you ever see that the uh, strain? It's like they shoot the stinger out, it grabs someone, it drains them all, all they have. But when that person lives from the stinger, they basically turn, they slowly turn into a vampire themselves, and they gain these extra senses just to be able to de detect and to hunt energy. You ever why some people are just lingering around? Like, I'm gonna give you some examples. So this is what you'll see a lot of in November. You're gonna see people come up to you. I'm like, hi, how are you? It's good to see you. And they're just like, I don't care about you. I don't. They won't say that. They're not gonna say, I don't care about you, but, but they'll be just like, yeah, bye. Bye, and it's, and it's gonna be suspicious. And that's one behavior you'll, you'll see a lot of in November. It's like, it's almost disturbing. It's like, I, you'll be like, I feel like something's wrong. Some of you have already had that happen to you already. That's an energy vampire and it's a technique. They might not come off as an energy vampire, but that person was just looking for energy. So they'll show up and be like, hi, how are you? I'm glad you're doing wonderful. Bye. They'll feel, but gotta go. And it's like the rudest thing ever. It's like, it's actually rude, but the person pretends like they just have to go when, they've, when they're when they full. They've consumed your energy. They have your energy. They left with your energy. They left with your charm. So if you're wearing a Florida snowman black tourmaline necklace, these people won't even come near you. They'll look at you and be like, you look like a monster to them because holy water is pretty disturbing to, to vampires. So is silver, so. I'd rather be the scary person with negative energy than to have my energy harmed. So you get to pick a side. What does this mean for? Because uh, I'm talking about energy here. This means most people are not are not going to be doing well unless they protect themselves accordingly. So protect yourself accordingly. That's my suggestion. Protect yourself accordingly. You don't get any more warnings. If you watch this video and you still don't do anything about it, that's on you. Maybe you had to learn. Most people will be doing something about it, but the best way, and you, you I, I, I upped my cleansings. I won't do it. I won't. Oh, I'm gonna turn my TV on. I'd block your mirrors too. I'd, I'd lock your mirrors. I'd turn the, I'd turn the mirrors off around, put a sheet over the mirror. But uh, yeah, lock the mirrors, and most importantly, tourmaline around the neck. Vampires bite the neck. Most of you, when you're getting your energy, I mean, most of you, when you're talking to someone who has the worst energy in the world, you'll feel in the back of your neck because they're that's where their demon is sucking your energy from the back of the neck. So a necklace that goes all the way around, a necklace that goes all the way around is protecting the whole neck and the head and the back. Actually, even, I, I take my own advice. If you guys haven't seen it already, I'm, I made a tail of tourmaline. If I can even grab it, because it's all the way back there. 
I'd like to make it longer, but it's all the way back there. I made a tail. It goes all the way back. I'm not doing that again. I said I wasn't doing that again in the first place, but the tail goes all the way back and it's nice because I've torn them going all down my spine. So I'm taking my own advice. You guys should take my advice too. If you don't, you have been warned. So now for the people who would like their own custom gemstone necklaces, you can DM Florida Stone Man on Instagram. I make custom necklaces for people based off their entire zodiac signs, your astrological, your entire astrological chart, even Vedic, Viking. Well, my angels are helping me learn some really cool stuff about astrology that's not really online. <laughs> from the actual planets themselves. You can also get an, a necklace of tourmaline from floridastoneman.com and check the reviews. It's really helped people. That's all I'll say. It's really helped people. That's all I will say. If any questions, ask them in the comment section. Until then, I'll see you guys next time. Ciao.